What's up guys, it's Sarbahe and here's a quick tips video on how to get gold in Fortnite Save the World as fast as possible. The season's going to be ending in about two weeks, so you definitely want to get as much gold as possible so that you can get heroes like Sub-Zero Zenith. So, first of all, you can do these Destroy the Encampment missions in Twine Peaks and make sure that you guys are doing the ones that have the purple cloud because that counts as a mutant storm. Now, as you guys can see right here in Repeatable Quest, every time that you do two Mutant Storms, you're going to be able to get 100 gold, as well as the gold from the Destroy the Encampment mission. As you're doing the Destroy the Encampment mission, make sure that you guys are also completing your side quest lines. Because as you guys can see, there's going to be specific, um, you know, quests that you have to do. Uh, so that you can get the final reward for these quest lines that are going to be giving you gold and most of the steps in these quest lines are going to be giving you gold so by the time you finish one entire quest line for example you're going to be able to have and get your hands on a pretty decent amount of gold so that's kind of like the passive uh, way to get gold let's talk about the more objective way to get gold as well and that's going to be the dungeons mode as you guys can see if you have if you guys haven't completed all the dungeon mode challenges there's a lot of gold to get from this mode obviously you're going to get gold when you complete an actual dungeon but you're also going to be getting gold from the daily quest which gives you 150 gold and of course there are also other gold challenges in the uh, dungeon mode as well like this one for example to complete the labyrinth if you complete all the dungeons you get 250 gold so the point is, make sure that you guys are doing all of these uh, side quest um, type challenges and also play Destroy the Encampment uh, so that you guys can of course complete the side quest or the event quest very very quickly and to get the gold. And if you've already done that, make sure that you guys are running dungeons, do your uh, daily for the dungeons and also make sure that you guys are taking advantage of the daily dungeon destroyer which gives you 250 gold and last but not least of course you can also do the daily quest make sure that you guys are doing your daily quest like that you guys are getting the 240 gold and if you guys do that honestly you should be good and you should get to 10,000 gold very very easily hands down in an entire day honestly so if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to drop it a like so uh, one of you guys said whoa you're back you know when i posted my previous video so yeah, long story short, I just haven't been focusing a lot on uh, Fortnite Save the World. I've just been focusing on my main job. As you guys know, I do have a main job right now and usually it's my part-time job because there's not a ton of content to cover in Save the World. So I'm just honestly enjoying life. Uh, you know, everything is good on my part. And um, yeah, you know, when the new season of Save the World comes out, you guys should be expecting some content if there is a ton of content to cover. So everything's Gucci out here, boys. Let me know how you guys have been in 2020 and what are some of your 2020 goals in the, in the comment sections below. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one. I'm looking forward to reading your goals, boys. Peace.